begin tonight with politics. The votes have been counted and we now know who's headed to the November general election. There were several races in South Carolina tonight, none bigger than the GOP nomination well. for governor. In a nationally publicized race, Yo, Governor Henry so McMaster has won the Republican nomination. He beat out John Warren, a candidate who didn't start campaigning until February. A big endorsement and appearance from President Trump last night helped McMaster secure that nomination. Tonight, the commander in chief took to Twitter to congratulate McMaster on his victory, saying South Carolina loves you and that he is proud of McMaster and his wife, Peggy. McMaster celebrated that victory tonight at Spirit Communications Park right here in Columbia. And that is where we find News 19's Lauren Thomas tonight. All smiles tonight from Governor Henry McMaster as he clinched that Republican nomination for governor. This is something that he's been trying to do since running for governor back in 2010 against Nikki Haley, but there's still work to come. His victory speech tonight pretty quick, but his message resonated with everyone in the crowd. But Carol Campbell had something that other governors had not had before, and that is he had a close relationship with the people in the White House, most notably the president. Start with President Reagan and then with President Bush. And since that time, we've not enjoyed that relationship, but we got it now, as you saw last night. <laughs> We got the best team in America since those days, building on things that other people have done. We've had, we got great leaders in South Carolina, whether they're business leaders, teachers, preachers, police officers, military, great, great leaders in South Carolina. And we've built institutions, we've built traditions, we got a great military tradition, a great faith tradition. There really is no place on earth like this, but ladies and gentlemen, with what we have now, with what we have now in South Carolina, we are on the edge of the greatest prosperity that we've ever had. There's nothing like it. And they tell us that. He and his Lieutenant Governor candidate, Pamela Vett, will face Democrat James Smith and Mandy Powers Norrell in November. And he's hopeful that he'll be able to return to the governor's mansion this time as the elected governor of South Carolina. Reporting in Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. And McMaster's opponent, John Warren, conceded the race shortly after 9 o'clock tonight. He then met with his supporters to give them the news. News 19's Alicia Niaves is at Greenville tonight with reaction. In front of a packed room inside the Weston Point set in downtown Greenville, John Warren conceded to incumbent Henry McMaster, giving thanks to all of his supporters who came out from across the state, but saying tonight just wasn't his night. A roaring crowd greeted him as he walked in. Many came from Myrtle Beach, from Aiken, from all across the state just to be here tonight. Here's a listen to Warren's remarks. Tonight did not go as how we expected. But I've called and congratulated Governor McMaster on his victory tonight. We had a hard fought battle over the past five months. And uh, I will tell you that I have never been prouder of a group of supporters. I've never been prouder of a mission. We have uh, carried ourselves with dignity and respect. And we have talked about issues that affect South Carolina because the issues are great. We continue to be 50th in education. We continue to be overtaxed. We continue to see our roads crumbling, and we continue to lose $4 billion with Santee Cooper, and we have got to have someone that can present solutions to these complex problems. Even with an endorsement from current Lieutenant Governor Kevin Bryant, from Senator Tom Davis, and Warren's former competitor for governor, Catherine Templeton, he couldn't pull off the upset tonight, but he says he's hopeful his conservative movement will continue. In Greenville tonight, Alicia Neavis, News 19, WLTX. Alicia, thank you. As you heard earlier in the broadcast, McMaster will now face the Democratic nominee for governor, Representative James Smith of Richland County. Tonight, he sent out a statement on McMaster's victory congratulating McMaster. In that statement, Smith says this election is about the people of South Carolina and their future. And while Henry McMaster would suggest that all is well, Smith says he's not willing to tell the truth. He went on to say that as South Carolinians, we love our state, but we all know we deserve better. He added that as the next governor of South Carolina, he would bring our state together to deliver the education our kids deserve, improve access to high quality health care for all, and increase economic opportunities for rural and urban South Carolina. In the earliest 